What's up, guys? This is Chris, BenoBaseballCards.com again. Uh, the wife and I had to do some grocery shopping, and pretty much five minutes after I got all those open opening day packages, I heard that uh, Heritage had released as well, but it was not at the stores when I had uh, when I was spending time getting all the Heritage or the opening day. This stuff wasn't out, and it wasn't even in the cases, the shipping cases, to be put out. So I had no knowledge of it actually being released this quickly next to uh, opening day. I got four blasters, uh, ten of the regular gravity feed packs. They had a box on the wall, but they didn't have an extra one because these are way more expensive than opening day cards, so it's it's a little harder to get a whole gravity feed box of something that costs three nineteen a pack, which is outrageous in itself. Some of these I got from Target, some of them I got from Walmart. I think I got this stuff down here was Target, and I got the four blasters from Walmart because Target didn't have any blasters out. Um, we'll go ahead and bust this stuff open, and this just gives you an idea. It gives you a preview. Like I said, I haven't, like normal, I haven't had a chance to read any of this stuff yet, so I'm not sure uh, what is what. But we'll we'll go ahead and learn as we go along. We'll start with these. Uh, move those 10 packs out of the way. We'll start with these rack packs here. Alright, let's see what's in these rack packs. Let's see if these things are impossible to get open again. Um, one of the first questions that comes to mind is I wonder how easy uh, it's going to be to identify the short prints versus the uh, regular versions if they're going to have different colored backs or something, but they're basically going to copy whatever 1963 cards were. Let's see what we got here. Zoom this out just a little. I'm going to try to keep my face away from the microphone because I'm getting kind of annoyed with myself when I'm re-watching these videos to edit them. I am not thrilled with how loud my breathing is next to the microphone on this camera so I'll try to keep my voice down and try to keep myself away from the camera itself and I'll try to keep my sniveling down too I had to mute out all the snivels from the opening day videos because there were so many of them you guys would have just been that would have driven you guys nuts Scott Baker Santiago Casilla Darwin Barney Albert Pujols in the first pack Mike Miner, Eddie Matthews, and Jose Bautista then and now. Minnesota Twins. Checklist. NL home run leaders. Carlos Marmel. Don Mattingly, Donnie Baseball. And I will go, uh, in between videos, I'll go check Beckett and all the other places that I can check and see if I can find SB lists and uh, all the little tips and tricks. Here's what the backs of the cards look like, as if you guys don't already know that. But I'll try to see if I can figure out. Jose Constanza is uh, that player. I'll try to find out what uh, which cards are SBs and which ones aren't. Clint Hurdle, J.D. Martinez, Irvin Santana, Rick Porcello, Carlos Lee. I know I saw some of the ones on eBay since I've been selling a lot of my cards on eBay. I saw some of the card styles that are selling are like they have this photo and this photo reversed. I saw a Prince Fielder like that. I'm sure I saw somebody else, but it just happened to catch my eye is all. So I know there's some crazy stuff going on. There's some stick-ons, some the, the common new age performers and there are some numbered short or no high numbered short prints. Kind of reading the side of the box as I go along. There. So apparently there's a uh, a numbering a, a number a certain magic number which is <clears throat> going to be the break point for when uh, regular base cards end and the SPs begin, just like last year and most of the years. Matt Latos in his Reds uniform. Jordan Walden. Jason Kubel in his D-backs uniform. J.B. Shuck. Jason Vargas. Vladi. 
Vladimir. Uh, Jeff Francoeur. Eric Ibar. Brandon McCarthy. Stephen Drew. JJ Putz. Jose Valverde. Justin Morneau. Jorge Posada, who announced his retirement, so 2012 will be his last year of cards uh, from with photos of when he was still playing. Clearly these were made before he announced uh, his retirement, so 2012 should be his last regular regular year card. Ryan Adams and Mike Sosha. I didn't see any inserts in that pack, but that's because we don't... I don't know at the time this time which ones are maybe short prints so I would imagine there were inserts in there but I don't know what they are. We'll figure it out later. I like the cardstock. This is nice. Uh, good solid uh, good solid corners on these. Chris Sale. Jonathan Papelbon in his Phillies uniform. Juan Pierre. Drew Storen, Michael Brantley, Stan Usual Baseball Flashbacks, Andre Ethier, Adrian Beltre, Dan Ugla, Josh Reddick, uh, All Star Rookie, second year card, Annabelle Sanchez with the new Miami style uniform, Willie Bloomquist, Matt Dominguez Rookie card, for the Marlins. Shelly Duncan. We got a Curtis Granderson. Looks like a sticker. Curtis Granderson sticker. Number 31. So there is a card number on it. Nice. Uh, I know a few Granderson fans, and rightfully so. Boston Red Sox team card. Well, that was a pretty short video there. It's a little, good little starter. I'll go ahead and cut it off here, and that'll give me a chance to look at all the little... Uh, places on the internet to see if I can find an SP list and then I'll go through this stuff real quick and then I'll know for the, the future videos, these 10 packs here and the 4 blasters, I'll know uh, what cards to look for and be able to spot them for you. And that's how I do it here, we learn as we go. See you guys in a couple of minutes.